अशे हंगा वयर वेता आसताना हे चोडून सामके थकसाण आयले म्हणून मातसो एक मिनिट बसता तुमका आणि एक काणी सांगता ती म्हणजे कोर्तिनाजी म्हज्या लेफ्टाक हंगा तुमका दिश्टी पडटा तो एक डोंगर कापिल्लो हो डोंगर म्हणजे कोर्तीन वयरसून कसे दिसता पय ते आणि ही वाट तुमका सांगिल्या प्रमाणे जे मळ्यातले आणि फोंताय नासातले लोक ज्याका ओरिजिनल पणजी अशी म्हणतात थंयसून मेन पणजी डेवलॉप जाताली त्या एरियेन येवपाक केल्ली वाट म्हणजे ही खोर्द ओयतेर आम्ही आता किते करया ही जी पाय वाट असा ती चलून वयर या आणि पळया कारण ही पाय वाट म्हाका अशा दिसता की जी ही कोर्तीन बांधता असताना हंगा ग्रेवयार्ड आशिल्ले वयर ते एटीन सेवेंटी एटान हंगासून सातीने शिफ्ट केले इनफॅक्ट ह्या सिमेट्रींची बरी स्टोरी आसा आम्ही सातीनेसूय मागीर या पळया किन जाले ते जेन्ना हंगा हे कोर्तीन बांधताले तेन्ना हंगाची मुसुंडी म्हणजे तांची सिमेट्री ज्या जाग्याचेर ते पुरताले ती थंय मदीं आडवाटेक येऊंक लागली म्हणून गव्हर्नादोर तेन्नाचो गव्हर्नादोर आशिल्लो ताणें सांगले की हंगाची ही शिफ्ट करची म्हणून ताणी ती जेन्ना सातीने शिफ्ट केली इट वॉज इनॉग्रेटेड ऑन फर्स्ट जानेवारी एटीन सेवेंटी नायन तर ह्या ग्रेवाच्या ह्या सिमेट्रीच्या जाले किदें ती अशीच पडून उरली आता थंय थडगी कांयच दिश्टी पडना पूण हिस्ट्री आमकां अशी सांगता की ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिसेंबराक ट्वेंटी सिक्स डिसेंबर एटीन सेवेंटी एटान एक पुर्तुगीज सोल्जर जो हंगा कंपालाचेर ड्युटेक आशिल्लो ताणे जीव दिल्लो त्या मनशाक ह्या सिमेट्रीनी मांडो पुरलो फर्स्ट जानेवारी एटीन सेवेंटी नायनान सांतीनेजची सिमेट्री इनॉग्रेट केली आणि तातूर ऑन सेकंड जानेवारी एटीन सेवेंटी नायन जॉन मेसायस सिल्वा गोम्स म्हणटा त्या मनशाक सगळ्यान पयल्या पयली पडलो आज आमकां थंय वेतक दिश्टी पडटले की मेसायस गोम्साची फॅमिलीक जो जागो ठरून दवरला तो अजून तसोच आसा त्या जाग्याचेर ताका पुरिल्लो काय अशें दिसता कारण तो सगळ्यान सिमेट्रीच्या पयल्या कोनशाचेर आसा त्या सिमेट्रीचे थंय पावना बरोबर तुमकां आनी सांगता आता आम्ही या ह्या सिमेट्रीन वयर वाट सारकी ना खडबडीत आसा यू हॅव टू बी एक्स्ट्रीमली केअरफूल टेक द परमिशन ऑफ द पॅरिस प्रिस्ट एन ओनली देन एटेम्प्ट टू गो ऑन टॉप जाणटेल्यां कडे उलयता उलयता आमकां अशें कळून आयले की एटीन सेवेंटी एटान चर्ची फाटल्यान जी सिमेट्री आशिल्ली ती सातीने शिफ्ट केली कारण तांकां रस्तो बांदूंक जाय आशिल्लो जो पोन्ने पणजे आशिल्ले मळ्यान आनी आताचे पणजे आसा ताका कनेक्ट करूंक जाय आशिल्लो आनी ताका आमी आज कोर्त द वयतेर म्हणटा तर ही सिमेट्री त्या दोंगल्याचेर वयर आशिल्ली म्हणून आमी ती हांगा पळोवंक आयल्यार आमकां हांगा दिसलें की एक खुरीस आसा हांगा आनी एक ब्युटिफूल पणजेचो व्ह्यू दिश्टी पडटा पूण मागीर म्हाका याद जाली की ही चर्चीचो एक फोटो आशिल्लो जो फाटसून आनी बरोच उंचावरसून काडिल्लो थंय जर पळोवंक वच जाल्यार आमकां रुईन्स दिश्टी पडल्यो ज्यो रुईन्स आशिल्ल्यो ज्यो रुईन्स आशिल्ल्यो एका लायट हावजाच्यो हे लायट हावज ज्यो बोटी मिरामारसून भितर येताल्यो तांकां गायड करताली मांडवी रिवरान येवपाक पूण मागीर जेन्ना सिल्टींग जावं लागलें तेन्ना ह्यो बोटी तेवटेन येवपाच्यो बंद जाल्यो आनी हे लायट हावजाचो यूज ना जालो तेन्नाच्यान हे लायट हावज मोडूंक लागलें
in the year 1878 the governor kaitan the albuquerque in his order stated that the cemetery from near the immaculate conception church should be shifted what was the reason very simple he wanted to shift the excess way that was coming all the way around the altino hillock and had to reach the newly developing panji because panji for all purposes was on the east side of the hillock of altino what we call today as fontaines and mala now this governor wanted to create an excess by cutting the hill next to the church of panjim so that it could be the people could easily access and come on this side like i have told you the area in front of the church was a marshy land and uh, the mud from this cutting of cort the oiter this hillock was called as uh, oiter the immaculate the concession or the hillock of Im- Im- immaculate conception so the mud from this was taken and filled up and the whole area was uh, leveled up in panjim uh the last person who was buried in the cemetery uh, behind the church in the old cemetery was a portuguese soldier who committed suicide at kampal now he was buried on 26th of december 1878 in the old cemetery the new cemetery which was shifted to santinez next to the santinez church the first person who was buried there was on 2nd of january 1879 and his name was john messias silva gomes and we are right now in the old cemetery of uh, santinez and behind me you can see the place where messias gomes may have been buried here as the first location um, more reason for me to uh take this as a pointer is that this particular uh, grave is situated right at the corner the first corner over here uh in the book written by mr rodrigues mr egyptian rodrigues he mentions that once this cemetery was shifted here uh there was a small custom that uh, was taking place here the priest of the santinez church before the 8 am mass started he would come out from the side door he would bless all the graves that were here and then he would enter the main gate of the church now this particular custom stopped in 19 uh, somewhere between 1956 1957 when we go around this old part of the cemetery santine cemetery you will find that some of the uh, tombs are having some wonderful marble carvings there are there are angels there are coat of arms there are swords and there are different types of structures which commemorate the people who have been laid to rest over here now this is the old part and in the old part there is one grave which where the kond the mai i mean he is uh, uh, he was owning most of uh, mayam area now he also is laid to rest at this place where we will see it later this is the old cemetery that we see over here and now there is a new cemetery that has uh, been uh, operational on the south side of the church of santinez and that is maintained by the corporation of the city of panji we will go there and we will just take a glance of how people of the christian faith have been laid to rest in a wonderful atmosphere that is being created by landscaping the area
now that we have come to the south side of the old cemetery we will now enter the new cemetery and see what and how the corporation of city of panji is maintaining we can see that most of the graves are well landscaped these are the old uh, ones the corporation of the city of panji keeping in mind the increasing uh, need for the cemetery have now come up with a proposal that they will not allow any structures to be permanent structures to be built in this place normally आम्ही मेन सपना वरसून सोडून येतात ब्युटिफूल ही चर्च दिसता ती पळता चर्चे भर पळून येतात पण केच आम्ही ताच्या फाटल्यान वचना हंगा आम्ही फाटल्यान जेव्हा आयले तेव्हा एक कुडको दिष्टी पडलो की तो बांधूक नाशिलो ता चुनो मारूक नाशिलो तो असा तसो पळीक एका जाग्यार आणि दिसता तसा आशिलो तर जेव्हा आम्ही विचारले की हे किती तर हंगाचे जे कॉन्फ्रारियाचे जे प्रेजिडेंट आसा मिस्टर लुईजी फेर्रांव तांणी आमकां सांगले आणि पॅरिस प्रिस्टांनी सांगले की ही जो भाग हो जो भाग फाटल्यान आसा तो ओरिजिनल जी पळ ती स्ट्रक्चर आशिल्ले जे मागीर अपग्रेड केले सोळाशान हो ताचो भाग तो तांणी असोच दवरला एट सम टायम इन फ्युचर मे बी वेन दे हॅव द फंड्स एंड it is necessary that we donate generously to this particular projects like this in panjim that this place should be done up retained in its same manner and made into a museum this is going to be the most golden day when it comes we are having the privilege to meet the parish priest of the immaculate conception church father kleto perera and let us ask father perera about the parish and the activities that are taken up by the confraria and the church at panjim father yeah i'm happy to uh inform the public about the activities spiritual activities i mean conducted in this parish for the benefit of all our parishioners when i say all parishioners i mean not only catholics but also people belonging to our other faiths staying in this parish at the outset i can say that i as a parish priest have got a duty to celebrate mass every sunday for all our parishioners and i express this uh this uh, idea or just say express that we are celebrate this mass for all parishioners including our non catholic parishioners now this uh, church is 474 years old mainly to give the good news to the people now at present we uh five priests residing here i am assisted by two assistant and other two priests on the staff and daily we have got three masses two in the morning one in the evening and uh, people do come and participate this mass but not in large number the reason for this is that all around our church there are masses in many chapels and i would like to say that even on sunday sundays there are masses at nine places besides our mass beside masses in our church so people get scattered i don't get many people here but uh, we are adjusted to this situation now there are association 
performed by the lady. Now, one of the most active has she is the Conference of St. Vincent the Pope, helping the poor, the needy, and especially trying to supplement with fees all those who would like to do some education and find some financial difficulties. Besides that, there are uh, another association of Couples for Christ who meet every Thursday and uh, they discuss their own problems and a guidance, spiritual guidance is given to them. We have got a youth association. Another association is the association of uh, the altar service in which boys and girls take part and try to serve Mass. And every Sunday we have got uh, catechism classes for children. Besides that, we go on visiting the people. Although it is very difficult to visit the people in this city as they live in uh, tall buildings and uh, beside that people in the city are always busy, busy, busy. So we try our best to contact them. So this is what uh, I want. Uh, Father, uh, you all are doing a wonderful job over here. And I can understand that the number of people who are coming to the church have reduced a little bit. But I am sure that there are other chapels in Panjim which are coming under this church, which you would like to tell us about where the flock is right now going to attend Mass? Yeah. See, to, be, uh, to, uh, to begin with, uh, people go to Bishop's Chapel because lots of people live at Altino. Then there is another chapel at Portais uh, where our priests and pillar priests serve the people every Sunday and uh, other days on first Friday and on uh, every uh, Wednesday. Then coming closer to our chapel we have got the um, uh, Fontaine's chapel dedicated to Saint Sebastian where it resident chaplain is there and he is having two three masses there then close to the post office of penny headquarters we have got a, a chapel dedicated to saint thomas and there is also a priest resident there then coming to this side now we got a chapel dedicated to Immaculate Conception, ice, known as IC Chapel near Domoscus, okay. where every Sunday we go to serve Mass, priests from the church. From Besides, Domosco uh, has got a number of Masses over there, and this is preferred by people not only from Panjim but from other places, as there is ample ground for them to park wow. their cars and uh, uh, take part in the Mass at that convenient time. And uh, another chapel where every Sunday there is Mass is uh, uh, situated in the old GMC building uh, dedicated to Our Lady of Victory. Yeah. This is uh, what we have got. And one last question, Father. One chapel we have forgotten which opens only on one day, that is Good Friday, as a place to rest just behind Mandavi Hotel. Yeah, could you tell us something about that? Ah, this chapel, it is said that uh, belongs to a private, private family which has been handed over to the church. Okay. And there we go uh, whenever we have got procession of uh, our Lord carrying the cross. Yes. That is on uh, Sixth uh, Sunday of Lent, okay. dedicated to Palm uh, Sunday, uh, it's a resting place, in a way to say. Yes. And secondly, on Good Friday. On Good Friday. Yeah. Okay. And one last last question to you. Many time, Father. I have seen that a lot of tourists are coming here, foreigners, Indians, and they would like to see this beautiful church that we see from outside. They would like to enter inside. Are they troubling you or do you welcome them? 
they do not trouble us they are most welcome they many of them they come and they pray but we have got a timing little bit in order to give some rest to our church personnel who are in charge of the security yes uh, that is the reason why we don't allow all the time and especially during our religious service we don't allow yes. them to come uh, if they don't not trouble i don't uh, personally i don't have any problem they even they enter during service time, but they once they enter they should they remain should maintain the decorum decorum and should remain there till the end of the yes, service they right, should not right. disturb yeah that's right uh, that was a beautiful talk with uh, father perera thank you so much i know he is extremely busy but i have a message for all the people who come here to visit this wonderful church this majestic church please respect the decorum of the religious services that are happening over there do not eat do not trouble do not shout i think these are the basics of visiting all the religious institutions in goa thank you father so much on behalf of uh, prime tv yes ata me aille asa immaculate conception church an bitar amka assist karda church so saint christian uh, mr franco to punje so resident ata ami taka visarya saint christian chi duty gine pati welcome to prime tv franco bob most welcome god bless you तुझी ड्यूटी कितें मजे ड्यूटी आसा सकाळचे सगळे वेस्टमेंट फादराचे म्हण ऑल्टर सर्वीस माती पेटोय इगोजेर देखरेख सगळे करपाची माझी ती ड्यूटी आसता बिसायड डेट केन्ना बावतीज मासता मागीर बावतीज म्हणजे सगळे तयारी करपाक जाय किदें आहा उदक आहा दुवा लोक हात पुसपाचे ते ते केन्ना एक आजार आसता कोणाचे रेस्पेर आसता तो रेस्पेराची सैल करूंक जाय निडल्स घालपाक जाय मायक रेडी कर मागीर आनी दुसरे कामां आसा सगळे रेडी करपाचे ते आनी कितें म्हण आनी बेली कोण वाजयता बेली आहा ते आम्ही सकाळचे एक पांचांक मागता ताका म्हणटा ते केन्ना हांव मागता हांव आसा जाल्यार हांव मागता नाजाल्यार आनी एक सायड मेंबर आहा तो एक मागता ओके एक्च्युली ते मारप आमचे सकाळचे पांच वरांचेर एक जाता आनी दनपार बारांक आमी आमोरी म्हणटात आनी रातचे तीन पावटी मागतात थँक्यू व्हेरी मच फ्रँकोबाब we are also honored today to have with us the president of the confraria of the immaculate conception church panjim mr luigi ferron welcome sir uh, good morning uh um, sir what we would like to know is you are the president of the confraria but we also hear that there is another body called as fabrica what is the difference between these two and what are the activities that the confraria does to promote the activities of the church now the confraria is formed by a group of people who are undergo a session with the parish priest and are called confrades now out of the many confrades which are there a general body election is held and there a council is built now the council takes care of the uh, needs of the church and the properties of the church for a period of 3 years which is extended to another period of 3 years but in case of the fabrica is just a body which is appointed by the church and they look after the affairs of the church and they do not have any general body or anything else it directly under the guidance of the parish priest and what do you do from the fabrica that is existent here and of which you are the president we don't have the fabrica here we have the confraries here confraries sir because at a particular time in the early uh, uh, century last year the fabrica could not have the this thing so the whole thing was handed over to confraries to take care of the properties of the church and the run day to day arrangements of the church and the uh, uh, the uh, uh, happenings at the church okay uh, so we get to understand here that the panjim church had lot of properties at one time uh, right now i am sure they have reduced and they are spread out at different places in panjim uh, can you name a few of these properties where you are having uh, you know activities or which you are trying to take care of yeah we, the church had a lot of properties but uh, about 40 years back most of the properties were sold especially in the miramar area at a dirt cheap rate today we have got a few buildings around panjim luji bab what i find over here something that is very gratifying something that is very uh, uh, religious on a very secular angle is that there are quite a lot of people of different faiths that come over here they are welcomed 
I have never seen, I have uh, been going around in the church for so many years now as well as today. I find that people of different faiths come here and they pray. What do you feel is this message to the whole country and the whole world today, which we are going through a very turbulent time? Yeah, the thing is that we do not restrict entry into the church for only Catholics. It's for anyone who wants to come and spend some time in quiet and in solace in front of the in front of the Lord. Luigi Bab, I have known you since many years. You are very young. Now you are holding the charge of certain things in this church. The most important question to you is the feast. Every year on 8th of December, we have the feast of this church. When you were young, I am sure you must have come to buy grams and uh, toys over here. Today that entire thing has blown into a huge fair over here. What are your views about this? Well, before it was more traditional, today it's more commercial. So in the last couple of years, the CCP has allowed only the traditional like grams and the cardiobodios and those things which are traditional to be around the vicinity of the church and the other commercial activities have been put away around the garden square which is i feel good and keeps the sanctity of the church also so here we are few words from the president of the confraria of the immaculate conception church and a good friend mr luigi ferrand thank you luigi bob from prime tv and I hope that you'll keep on helping us and watching Prime TV. Thank you. Have a nice day. I'm Chagoyan. Khub gade, bari bari architectural structures asa. Jaka ami churches mun walkata, temples mun walkata, gharan saath, beautiful gharan saath. Ashats ami ya Prime TV cha sojanyan, aaz aile Immaculate Conception Church ponje hanga. Father and Amka, Boro support Dilo. I am so glad that he is impressive. The iconic structure of Panjim, not a single tourist who comes into Goa and especially into Panjim ever goes without being awed by the superstructure that we see that suddenly opens out and especially in the evening. The way that it has been uh, lit up with the Directorate of Tourism taking the initiative and many of the organizations taking initiatives to beautifully uh, illuminate this church with colors, with colors and so many other, so many other uh, combinations of colors. This church really looks very, very beautiful. In fact, I forgot to tell at one stage that on the first landing of this beautiful staircase, uh, every Christmas there is a huge crib that is put up over here. This Panjim church dedicated to, dedicated to uh, the Immaculate Conception is the pride of all Panjimites, irrespective of which faith they are and who they are. So, it is my appeal to you, as you watch the Go Goa No Goa program on Prime TV, please send us your suggestions, your critical views. I, I know that uh, we are not extremely professional in uh, presenting this to you and we are bound to make mistakes. So, if you Please send us your views. Tumche je views asa, tumka screenar dista, tya email acher. Please tumche views dada. Not positive only, but critical also. There are certain areas we have not covered. We are humans. So please, it is my appeal to you. Please watch Go Goa No Goa on Prime TV. Thank you and have a nice day.